Kim Glazier with the Kim Connects Home Team, and we are here connecting you with people that are passionate in the Kansas City area. And Daiquiri Day is today. And so I know you're getting ready for your weekend, and I am here with Calvin and Kinley, and they own the KC Daiquiri Shop. So we're sitting in front, and I've noticed the mural on the wall, and that is wonderful. Could you tell us a little bit about that, Calvin? Yes. So Kinley and I and Maurice, that was our other business partner. So we all had said that we wanted to do something that's dedicated and highlight our fathers. Mm -hmm. We all lost our fathers. And I right. told Kinley, I said, you know what? We don't have our fathers here, but I know if our fathers was here, they would be extremely proud. So let's do something to honor them. Wow. So the first guy, that's this is Kinley's father, Pearl Strickland. The middle guy that looked like Barry White is the guy, the good boy. <laughs> that is my father, Calvin Vick Sr. And the other guy is uh, Maurice Gass, and that's his father. Yes. And so we all lost our fathers, and we wanted, we, we showcased this, we revealed this on Father's Day. And then to tie in the whole New Orleans and Kansas City theme, if you look at the outline, the top part of the mural is the state of Missouri, and the bottom part of it is the state of Louisiana. So we've actually combined oh my the two states there. I see that now. Yep, and then we've got the Kansas City skyline on one side, and the New Orleans skyline on the other side, the city of fountains behind Kansas City, and the Fleur de Lis behind New Orleans. And so there's a lot of symbolism in the mural, and so it, it took time to think about you know, what we wanted, how we wanted to present it, and so when people ask and they hear the story, mm -hmm. it just makes them feel that much better about coming and supporting the daiquiri shop. Yeah, I would love to hear a little bit about your background and how you came here. So, when Kansas City played uh, Dallas Cowboys approximately three years ago, yeah. uh, a lot of people from Kansas City went to, to Dallas for the KC Dallas Takeover football game. And I have a brother in Dallas, and he, he invited me to attend this daiquiri bar. And so I, I went there and I saw this event. I'm, and I just asked, what is this? I mean, is this a restaurant? Is it a sports bar? Is it a club? Is it a lounge? And so I, I'm a pilot, so I flew down, I flew back like two or three weeks later just to meet with the owners. Mm -hmm. It's three owners, and they're all from New Orleans. And I told those guys, I, I said, hey, Kansas City can really use something like this here in Kansas City. Absolutely. I, uh, I had met my fraternity brother, Kenley Strickland, and we met, we met here at this building right here. Hmm. This used to be called a kudos. This used to be a cigar lounge. I told him, I said, hey, you know, this, this is something I'm going to do. And he said, hey, he's, he's all in. He said, let's do it. The very first location we met, this is where we, we end up our business at. Wow. So it kind of came full circle for you guys. Yes. We kind of coined ourselves as a destination vacation spot mm -hmm. in the heart of the city. And so that enthusiasm that you felt when you walked Absolutely. in, it's like that all the time. If you've ever been to the French Quarter, you've ever heard about Mardi Gras, you know it's kind of a free-flowing, free-spirited you know, uh, atmosphere. So we just want to keep that spirit alive. How could a business, kind of, is that something that they could bring their group here and be able to kind of set Absolutely. up shop? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and we're starting a new phase to it called Expose. Hmm. And one thing that Calvin and I were both um, passionate about was helping other small business owners or people who had a, 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 a passion for whatever they do, mm -hmm. give them a platform. You know, we actually had a meeting last week with some investors that are gonna invest $40,000 into the community, mm -hmm. you know, and all of those figureheads were here inside the daiquiri shop, mm -hmm. enjoying daiquiris, enjoying gumbo, but then talking about real change in the community as well. That's fantastic, that's fantastic. And we're gonna go ahead and we'll put the link below so you can see that, so please, please, Let's support this fabulous place. If you come and when you come, you are going to feel the passion and the energy. Just such a unique place. And we're so fortunate to have you guys in the Kansas City area. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye -bye.